Alright, this is gonna be a video on setting up Smash Ultimate Fields on a Linux distro. I'll be using Ubuntu for this. The process might differ be for other distros, but hopefully you'll be able to figure it out using a Linux system. Step number one is to go open up your browser, look up Smash Ultimate Tools Game Banana. Uh, I'm not sure where is the actual one called the Windows one. Okay, where is the Game Banana page? Alright, let's just go here. First one. Okay, that was it. For some reason, I was using the subtitle instead of the main title, but. Once you go here, you want to scroll down till you see Smash Ultimate Tools Rewrite, and then this is the latest version for Windows. I'll upload the latest version for Linux after this. It'll be depreciated by the subtitle, which is the latest version. I'll add a Windows and a Linux. You gotta make sure you download the one that's Linux. Uh, once you get it downloaded, I don't have it downloaded right now because I will just transfer it over from my local computer, my host computer. Let me see if I can find it. Yep, there it is. I'll go ahead, zip it up. Or now I'll just copy it over. Oops, you have that. zip it add to archive. Uh, let's go ahead. Control C. Go back here. Control V. We'll open up the tar file. Let's extract it somewhere. I'll extract it to desktop. Go to the files, and now we'll have the folder and a readme.txt file. Let's go ahead and open up the readme. Make sure you read everything. This video will be linked here, so you'll probably see it, but it'll tell you to install Donet 2.0 for URC tools. It's also for audio, and I just found out now, but we'll do that for later. I'll update it later. You also, on Linux specifically, you need to do, go ahead and run sudo apt-get install socks and the uh, libsocks format and p3 support for mp3 support and YouTube support if you want to enable that later. Uh, you also need to install ffmpeg for YouTube conversion support and for Prime Music Looper support, you'll need to install Python if you don't have it on your system. Tip, if you don't have it on your system yet, then you'll need to run this command. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the program first. So what you want to do is go to Smash Ultimate Tools. You'll find this Smash Ultimate Tool file, 3.3 megabytes. Double click it. You should open up the program. Now, this is basically going to be the README, but with actual clickable links, so you don't need to copy and paste it. So, first, what you want to do is install 6.0.3 and 5.0.3, since Microsoft discontinued support for 2.0.9. Go ahead and click on this. It'll take us to Microsoft's page. Let's scroll down till we see Ubuntu steps. Or go to the distribution for yours. Right now I'm going to be using Ubuntu, so here we have Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and for more information, see install by now in Ubuntu. Click on that. Let's scroll all the way down. Make sure that your version is supported. I'm using 20.04, so it's supported for me. So I'll scroll down till we see here. Uh, This is 20.04, right? Nope, 20.10. Let's scroll down to 20.04. 20.04 there. So go ahead and run this command in terminal. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal first. Let's go ahead and make this smaller. This is 20.10. Let's go to 20.04. Go ahead and copy this one. Paste it. So run this command. Type in your pseudo password. And then let's remove the file. Once you got that done, you want to go ahead and install the runtime. First, let's run all this. Apt update, and then we're going to install the transport HTTPS. We'll update again, and then we'll install runtime 6.0. Run these. That's going to take a while, though. Then make sure you copy the last line, and we're going to install next up 5.0. This is going to take a while because running a couple of commands. Also, a heads up. Don't run commands blindly. Just make sure that you know what the command is doing before you run it. Let's change it to 5.0. Oh, my empad isn't working, so it's going to fix it. I'm going to go ahead and install 5.0 for us now.
Let's go ahead and run dot net list run times. And here we have 5.0 and 6.0. Now let's go back. Let's go back. And now let's go ahead and dial 209. So first what you want to do is download this. So I'll save it somewhere on our computer. I'll save it to the desktop. First what you want to do is double click this. Extract it. Let's extract it here. Well, we have a couple of stuff now. So we have some .NET, license, runtime, everybody knows this. Here's delete all this. We just need a host and shared folder. <clears throat> so what we want to do first is go over here, type where is .NET. You have three paths, user bin.NET, user share.NET, and then user share man. We want to go to user share.net, so we'll go cd slash user slash share slash dot net. Then we'll go ahead and do sudo xdg open dot so to open the current path with a super user explorer. That's going to go ahead and open it up. We want to copy our host and share folder from the product we just extracted to here. We'll go ahead and merge and merge. Merge all of them. Once you did that, Let's go ahead and close the FTG open. We're on .NET. Lift runtimes. And now we have 2.0.9. We have to do it this way because Microsoft discontinued support for 2.0.9. But now that we have them all three, let's go ahead and install socks. So we're going to go here. Sudo apt install socks. Copy this and run it. Yes. Sox is necessary for audio processing and stuff. Once you have Sox, we'll go ahead and install libsox format mp3 for mp3 support. But copy and run this. Yes. Alright, now that we have those two installed, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the stuff. So, if we want to enable YouTube conversion support, so we can just copy YouTube links and convert them from there. We need to install ffmpeg, so on Linux, we just need to run this command, sudo app install ffmpeg. But yes, that's going to take a while. Uh, hopefully my machine just gets, didn't disconnect itself, but that'd be annoying to you right now. While does that, next up we'll need Python. So let's go ahead and open up a new window of terminal. We'll let this run in the background, and we'll go ahead and see if we have Python installed first. Type Python. Then here we have so if we have python not found, did you mean python 3 or python? Would we type python 3? Yep, we have python. If you don't have python, you could follow this tutorial over here that I linked. But I'll tell you how to install python on your Ubuntu computer. Uh, after that, we need pip, so let's try running pip. That's how pip is not found, but it can be installed, so we'll go ahead and copy this command and install it. Let's go ahead and type our password in. And hit yes. Now it's going to install pip. I've been pegged done downloading, so next up, after pip, we'll need git. Let's go ahead and make sure that we ha have git. We don't have git, so we'll go ahead and run sudo app install git. Oh, wait. Can't run to app process that once. My bad. Now we'll just wait, I guess. Close this one. Uh, while this is waiting, y'all hear DDD scene from Forgotten Land? It's really a good banger, damn. Alright. So, once this is gonna be done... It is almost there, you got this, you can do it, I believe in you. Alright, once that's done, we can just do sudo app install git. Go ahead and install git. Alright, and then once that's done, we'll go ahead and run this command. Sudo pip install pi music looper from the git repo, so. Go ahead and run it, and now it's going to install pi music looper from the git repo, which should be the latest one. We might run into a specific error right now when we install it. 
And if we do, then we're going to have to run one more command. That I didn't include in the readme because it's not specifically related to this, but... We'll find out when it tells us. Okay, yeah, we ran into the error here. The error number 0.55.1 has requirement of P1.22. Needs to be... Uh, whatchamacallit? 1. Point, uh, let me see. We have 1.223, right? Yeah, so we need to downgrade our numpy version. So go ahead and run pip install upgrade. Actually, hold up. Let's try running Pi Music Looper first. Yeah, it needs numpy 1.21 or less. So we'll go ahead and run pip install upgrade numpy 1.21. Now we just wait for it to install. Now let's try running Pi Music Looper again. And here we have an FTD out argument that means it's the latest version. And that means it should work with Smash Ultimate Tools. So let's go ahead and see if we need anything else installed. Nope, oh, after that we're all done. Go ahead and close terminal. Let's close this. Let's run the program. Let's go ahead and accept that we read the README. And now let's go ahead and try editing some character stuff. If it saves, ask us to save somewhere. Let's save over here. Let's try loading the default and then opening up the Yikara DVPRC again. There we have it. Let's pick the character selection works. I'm assuming the rest are going over too because they're all PRCs. Including our SPT editor. Let's go ahead and click audio. Let's try using a YouTube link. Let me see if I can find song on one of my things here. Uh, all right, this one looks good enough for me. Copy this, enable looping. Let's try using Pi Music Looper to convert. This song is like two minutes long, so it shouldn't take that long to download and convert. All right, conversion completely. Click here, let's save it to desktop. And since you're using Linux, you could probably just change the name here. Yep. MP4A. Yes, select. Alright, let's save it. Uh, I'm not sure if we can listen to this on Linux, but it should work. Uh, we'll go ahead and convert another file without using two, but then we'll see if they both work on my Linux, my Windows computer. Let me just. Go to downloads here, see if I can find something. Mm. Alright. Let's copy this file. A flat. Control C. Control V. Go back to desktop and paste it. Hmm. And now copy this file over. Okay, never mind, I can. Alright, let's check in that file. Enable looping, I'll be using Pi Music Looper again because I am not into manually find loop points. Now we wait. I should probably add a feedback so you can at least tell when it's converting or not, but right now I don't want to bother about that. Let's just wait for a bit more. Alright. Click here, desktop. Echo. Save that. Now let's go ahead and test out these two songs. So go ahead and we do we have a compression option? No. Oh, we don't have a compression option. Let's go ahead and save it. That's the audio. Now we'll go ahead and upload it. Let's just use just beam it. Yeah.com, alright. Let's go ahead and click on this. Let's go ahead and upload the three audio zip. Create link. Copy paste. Download. Alright, we got the files. Let's go ahead and extract them. Uh, let's go ahead and type. Alright. Now that the folder exists, let's go ahead and try playing both of them in Flute Bar. 
Like these two in. Alright, they both worked. So they should work in game. And these two are made with the Ubuntu version, so. Let me pull that back up. Where's Rubart? Let's see if the loop worked. Yep, we got some loop sample set. Alright, that works nicely. And this is from a local file, black. Alright, both of them worked. Uh, that's about it. Let's go ahead and try some other tools. Maybe like stage selection. Try some. Let's try saving. Save it. Oh, my bad. The top. Save. So default. Okay. Hmm. Grant an error. Does she wants to load the default? Oh, wait. I think I messed up and didn't fix it so that it redirects back to this page. I'll fix that before I upload the version, but let's try putting our custom one. Yep, it opened up nicely. Alright, that's about it. Uh, everything else should work. I just need to fix this little default button to actually lose the default. But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and have fun with Elon Linux.